Hey, hey, beloveds, and happy, happy Friday, wherever you are in the world. I wanted to take a moment to tune in and turn on with you and see how you're doing. We are definitely feeling the energy shifts of April and with the upcoming new moon on Sunday, we are definitely, definitely feeling now the energy of Aries and this age of Aquarius. And so I am here. Hey, beloveds. Thanks so much for tuning in. Sisters, I see you. Thank you for seeing me. So grateful, so grateful. So I was, you know, in my meditation this morning, I was guided to, you know, what we're really experiencing, you know, in this age of Aquarius, beloveds, is two things. Hey, beloved, I see you. And it's, you know, outside the world is looking like it's in chaos and many people are saying that, many people are feeling that, you know, there has been, you know, this world experience, something that brought us all together and then it started to fragment, right? And so just like they say, there's variants, right? So now we're seeing variants. Things that had been in the dark have been brought to light. Like there is no more sweeping, you know, all the isms under the rugs, right? Now all the isms are out and bright out there for everybody to see. And the reason all of this is happening is what I have been sharing for the last two years. This is the age of Aquarius because as we're seeing this outside experience of chaos, Many, many, many of us, men, women, millennials, young, old, vegan, trans, everybody is now embracing a deeper spiritual part of themselves. You see, so although on the outside it felt like it was wrong and bad and this sucked, what it did was bring us all back into ourselves. We had to be in our homes. We had to be in our homes with other people for hours and days with our children and all of that. And what that did was show us more of who we are, a part of ourselves that we had long forgotten about when we were out there running, chasing. And so now what we need to do, instead of chasing out there, now we're discovering in here. And that is the magic of the age of Aquarius. That is actually what it is. Aquarius is about energy waves. And so what we're doing now is feeling an energy upgrade. And this weekend's new moon in Aries will bring together five planets in Aries. So we've got Chiron, we've got Mars, Saturn, the sun, and we will have the moon then in Aries on Sunday. So this is this boom of first energy, this boom of Aries energy, which is all about confidence and standing up for yourself. But before we get to that, we've got to go to the place where we lost our confidence. And so that's why it might feel like you're going through a shadow period. It might feel like you're in the thick of the gunk in the darkest of the dawn, but in the darkest of. But guess what? The, it's always darkest before the dawn. And that is what we're experiencing throughout this month. March felt a little slow and sluggish because we had just come off of that Mercury retrograde. And then we got our bearings back and then boom, we got hit with, you know, some more energy. And again, all of this is for us to have energy upgrades. This isn't anymore. I got to figure it out up here. No, now we're seeing that. No, I need to come within myself. And so we need to be checking our own selves. You know, many of us are not, you know, again, as I said, we're doing this inner work. We're not looking out anymore. We're not trying to put it out. And I'm not saying everybody's doing this because not everybody is. Those of who of us who are spiritually awakened, who are awakening, who are wanting to become awake, we are seeing the signs and the symbols. Beloveds, two, um, two years ago when I did the predictions and prophecies, I talked about how they'd be unearthing new things, new discoveries. Even this last November when I did the 2021 predictions, I said this year they are going to discover so many new things from our ancestors. Okay, yesterday, did you see that they uncovered a golden city in Luxor? And that was Thebes. 
all of this is this is all coming out because our ancestors want us to know this and have access to this the thing is if we're caught up in the world we won't know the message and the medicine of these new discoveries do you feel what I'm saying if we're caught up in the world we would say oh that's just news that's just oh I don't care that's just Egypt but guess what our ancestors are waking up because we're waking up our ancestors are pushing things out of the ground that had been hidden from us that were in the darkness because now we're rising in our power I have never seen so many black women and I am talking about black women my sisters and my sisters of color because I have to remember when I say black woman I refer to my daughter but my daughter is also biracial so she is Latina Afro Latina she's a black woman and so when I say that I want you to know but I am talking about my black sisters and yes my brown sisters I'm just gonna say brown right never in my life have I seen so many of us taking care of ourselves um, financially physically mentally spiritually this is why our ancestors are waking up because we are there they were asleep because we were asleep and so the more of us who awaken take the medicine as my beloved spiritual teacher African spirituality priestess and and all of that in a bag of chips I'm so grateful I found um, Iyala Funayo she is an amazing teacher and Harvard graduate I cannot say enough about her and you know th the women who I consider are my mentors are all black women and every single one of them is telling us to rest to take care of our mind our body and our spirit you know Rachel Rogers my business mentor in the we should all be millionaires she reminds us constantly even today she said her and her whole team took the day off do not disturb us right and so i love having these examples you know of who we're who we're becoming who we were told we couldn't be you know and this is why i love badass Boz, basmana st john she is the baddest of the bad and i love her because she tells us she reminds me every day be you be you be you be you and her her oh my gosh her beautiful black skin just shines and radiates the truth you know and so when i see these black women having a good time and bozmana is in ghana this week in new york the next week and speaking on this stage and doing that the next week they inspire me because i never had that before but you know who was the first black woman who ever inspired me and to this day i pray with her and I just, when I even see glimpses, I'm just like, oh, I, I'm transported back into that time when I saw her and I was like, that's how I want to be. And when I tell you who I'm talking about, you're going to be like, yeah, maybe I could see that in Tanya. If you, if you saw me in person, Diane Carroll, when she was um, Dominique Devereaux in Dynasty, like was she not with her furs and her jewelry and her class and her elegance. I remember watching Dynasty when I was eight and nine, at, at, actually at the same time after that, uh, watching Roots, right? You know, in between those, those were the biggest shows, you know, that I remember as a child. And I remember seeing that slave story. And then I remember seeing this story of this classy woman and her diamonds and furs. And I was like, that's what I want. But all I was ever taught was the slave story. You know, Dominique didn't last very long on Dynasty because, again, the audience wasn't ready to see a powerful black woman like that. You know, they had her fighting, physically fighting in videos, right? Hey, sister, I see you. They had her physically fighting with Alexis, right? Because, you know, that's how they want to show how black women were on TV at the time. And so, no, Dominique Devereaux, you know, she was so classy. She was so classy and I just loved her. And then, you know, the next time we get to see a true queen and I'm not talking about, I don't watch a lot of TV. So there's a whole bunch of stuff I probably didn't that I totally missed. I know a lot of ABC, NBC. I was, I didn't watch any of that. I'm not a big TV person. I don't even actually have a TV. I have my iPad and that's where I watch Netflix because I, I just don't believe in, you don't need a TV. You've got social media or you, you don't need it. You know, that's how I feel. That's my personal thing. But the next time I saw a queen was last year, a, a queen and a true queen energy in the Bridgertons. So we went, I went from seeing the slave story in Roots to Dominique Devereaux when I was a little girl. And then in the Bridgertons, 
And I was like, yeah, why can't we have that? You know, why can't that be the story I tell myself instead of this conditioned idea of the slave story? And so, you know, we have to take care of ourselves. We have to take care of our soul, you know, and our souls are guiding us to spiritually awaken. Hey, Irina. Privet, Privet, Cagdela, Cagdela. Oh my goodness. Irina was one of the contestants in the TV show with me. So, as you can see, I can speak a little bit, chut chut, Irina, Ukrainian, a little bit of Russian, a little bit of Russian. I love languages. That's one of the things many people don't know about me, besides being a librarian, a psychic medium and a spiritual coach, yoga teacher, and all those other things that I love to do, a writer, a poetress, a bruja, and all those things. I love languages, so I love speaking other languages. So, kagdila, kagdila. And so, back to my story about us awakening. And so this true, this awakening is happening for all of us. Oh, I've got two, I've got two, um, a two, um, uh, Ukrainians here. So, um, so, um, Jakuyu for being here. Jakuyu, spasiva, spasiva. Um, so, you know, when we awaken, it's not just like a mind thing. It happens in our body. Things that we used to like, we don't like. Food we used to like, we don't like anymore. Places we used to go, we don't like anymore. And the same thing happens with our mentality. Our thoughts have to get, you know, old things have to get thrown out and new things have to get brought in so this is why it says when you change your needs change and you have to be willing to do that but if we're only conditioned to be one way or to go that way because that's what other people said we're supposed to do we have to remember spirituality reminds us that we are free whether it be african spirituality a course in miracles science of mind whatever it is you're from the middle east even better I love that you must love languages too. I don't know any words in any languages uh, in, in the Middle East, so I would love to learn more, actually. And I love actually being bilingual or trilingual. Um, and so, yes, I practice my Spanish every day as well. Because, you know, and this brings me to the next thing, that we have to be happy students. We can't be so set in our ways that we don't learn anything new. I am a forever student. I just shared with you, I have... Uh, my African spirituality classes, right? I'm in that. Um, I have a business coach. I have um, my my fitness coaches are Kukua Fitness, the uh, African dance spirit, uh, African dance workout. Um, who else do I work with? I'm, I, I mentioned Bosmana St. John. These are all, you know, women that not only inspire me but remind me of what I can do. And what, even though I was taught what I couldn't do, right? And so I'm saying that all to say that, you know, the reason I love languages, that I love traveling, that I, you know, being a psychic medium, spiritual teacher, and all those things is because these are a part of me from my past lives. And now, as many of us are awakening past lives, future lives, and all these different things are coming up and coming through us. Why? Because we're getting to a place where we're like, this life is giving me clues to who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing. What does this mean? And so past lives, our Akashic records, all these different things, the ancestors speaking to us, things being unearthed out of the ground, all of this is bringing up this past life energy and saying, remember who you are remember where you come from be it ireland or africa this is not just about you know black people this is for all of us right because the age of aquarius is for all of us to connect to who we are and so i'm hosting a virtual seance because i want us to connect to the spirit world and the spirit world wants to connect to us you know i'm going to go back to egypt i'm going to go back to kemet back to back to um, the land of the blacks and the week before the week before this new city was uh, actually no let me say because they just told us that but they actually un, um, 
they uncovered this lost city in Luxor, but they just reported it yesterday because they finally were like, they had to make sure that, so they found this back in November and they just told us about the news publicly yesterday. So it's only been a few months, but of course they had to clean it out so they could show us what, what, what they had actually discovered. But last week, or yeah, I think it was last week, you know, they moved some of the tombs, some of the Egyptian um, kings and queens. They had a whole televised procession. Did anybody catch that? That was on Egyptian TV. They showed this whole beautiful Egyptian ceremony where they had moved the tombs because they were updating the, you know, places where they were housing them. And so once they moved those tombs, like I said, just a few weeks ago, and now this unearthing, there are no accidents, beloveds. There are no accidents. The universe, the ancestors are speaking to us. Why do you think there is a surge in African spirituality? How many people have seen a surge in African spirituality? I was in a Course in Miracles class last night, and a brother said, I want to show, I want to um, we were in a uh, in a science of mind class and a brother spoke out about how he wanted to use science of mind which is Ernest Holmes this is religious science where I have my spiritual coaching um, license from and he's like yeah I want to teach people more about African spirituality so haven't we seen a surge in that <clears throat> pardon me haven't we seen a surge in all of these things even in my Lunarversity you know uh, the women, we have such a diverse group of women from all around the world who are now for their first times in their 30s, 40s, and 50s learning about the magic of the moon. Why is this? Because we lost our way. And so the virtual seance is the ancestors speaking to us, but also us accessing our true self through our past lives. So we're going to have a section, we're going to have an AM session about past lives. We're going to have general readings and so you can either come to the sessions you can be in our vip come to our pre and post sessions i wish you guys could see all these beautiful yellow birds flying around me behind us and you know um but yes it is time for us to connect to our deeper truest self and what our past lives want us to know in this life so we can do what we need to do because there is no more time, beloveds. We must do our work, which is why we're getting so tuned in and wanting to be turned on. This is the turn on. Do the work. Do the work. Get clear in your mind. Get clear in your spirit. Get clear. Get clear. Get clear. That's why it feels hard because we don't know how. And so we have to discover how we have to listen we have to learn what is our medicine because my medicine isn't your medicine and your medicine isn't her medicine or his but we know and so that's why for this new moon i'm doing my 22 day cleanse and this is a cleanse of the soul and the aura and the karma this is something that i created years ago and spirit just dropped it into my into my soul and it's like you need the 22 day cleanse this is going to cleanse again my outer my inner and my deepest inner and why am i doing this because i'm getting ready to hold the virtual seance and i want to be a clear channel so and you know it's spring cleaning so you know, if you know you're ready for a spring cleaning, you want to maybe jump in on this with me. I'm not hosting a class or anything. I'm just doing this for myself. I'm kicking it off on Sunday. So if that is you and you want to be a part of it, you can either send me an email, tarotlifecoach at gmail.com. There is a workbook um, that Miana and I created, like I said, years ago, but I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this because my energy, my heart, my spirit said, clear I want to be the clearest channel I can be as I said for the seance for writing you know continuing to write my first draft for you know building my business I mean there's just so much we are so dynamic we are so dynamic if we give ourselves a chance just give ourselves a chance and so there it is, beloveds. This new moon is all about us giving ourselves a chance. So if you know you'd like to join this with me and get the workbook so you can do your own 22-day cleanse, then like I said, either comment below, send me an email, send me a message, and I can get that workbook on over to you. I, 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 don't, I think it's $10 or less, 
and again you can be on this journey with me I can you know we can stay in touch through email I can't take a bunch of people but I'm just letting you know this is where I'm at and if that's not you but you want to come to the virtual seance you are more than welcome to join us that is going to be in honor of my late brother um, um, who died late last year um, by suicide and so a portion of the don't a portion of the proceeds from the virtual seance will be going towards um, black and brown people um, suicide awareness and prevention organizations and so yeah because a part of living is also we there's a part of living is also a cycle of death and so this is why I'm doing this seance because first of all my brother told me it's time that more people that I share my gifts he said to me he's like sis you need to share your gifts so many people don't know how you know that you are such a powerful medium and I was like no but he kept telling me you've got to do this and so that is why I'm doing this so spirit did speak to me and now I'm offering that opportunity to speak to the spirits that want to speak to you access your akashic records access your past lives and see what that means to you in this one because i know although it hurts that my brother passed away i know a part of his journey was to now support me for the rest of mine and that that is the truth because he's the one who told me to do this and so i'm doing it truly from my heart i'm grateful to be able to share my gifts as a psychic and a medium and yeah you know it's this is what the enlightenment is this is what the upgrade is this is what the age of Aquarius is so let's do it together let's do it together let's do it together in love and in light and in liberation so happy Friday can't wait to see what magic you make with this new moon and if you're in the Lunarversity or Empowered Tarotistas you know we always get to do some fun stuff so I send you so much love and light. And if you would like to join anything, remember, always check the link in bio. All the stuff is there. And I've got an upcoming um, summit that I'm a part of. So get all the latest info and in interviews and insights. Join, tap that link in bio. So happy Friday, beloveds. Have a beautiful weekend. And, and until next time, peace and blessings.